in the Bisham Abbey um, Sports Performance Centre, and this is our environmental chamber, which not only change, can change the altitude, but it can change the heat, humidity, and the cold. So we're about 15.2% oxygen concentration, which is equivalent of about 2,500 metres. So we use this to simulate altitude environments. Um, so it's slightly different to going up the mountain, uh, but we've got a good tool for athletes to come in and train here remotely uh, and effectively just make a, a normal training session a little bit harder. So it's slightly different from the more traditional altitude training that uh, you might hear about a little bit more in the news where you go and spend time and live at altitude. And the role of that is to increase red blood cells. Because we're in the chamber for a shorter period of time, it's more about peripheral adaptations. It's adaptations to the muscle, more capillaries, more mitochondria, so that when the oxygen gets to the muscle, um, it's better able to utilize it. So kind of acutely, across a training session on an ergo, uh, the guys are able to complete similar similar effort so they would to outside the chamber but the session's harder so it up, up regulates lots of different markers in the body essentially stressing it more uh, and hopefully improving your oxygen carrying capacity and your vo2 max as a result the para rowing squad use this in two blocks uh, around spring and summertime um, those blocks last about four weeks and will come into the chamber once a week uh, other sports will use this intermittently um, the IRU, for example, might have a rehabbing athlete that we use the chamber to train in, um, or athletes might come and prepare here if they've got competitions at altitude.